Hello, my name is Prime and welcome back to this episode of ATS Showcases and today we're going to haul some live cattle from here in Lewistown up to Glasgow in Montana. Return to Montana, it's been quite some time and we're actually going to go on more of a country road here that we haven't actually driven on before so it's going to be a really nice delivery. We've got some cool things to talk about and of course I'm driving the Western Star 5700 XE in more of its well top of the line configuration. Of course, I ran the Optimus Prime version last episode, and it looks like a ton of you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much. And as per the title of this video, I've got some engine mods installed, and let's listen to this DD-15 engine roar to life. That is what I call the engine and transmission compilation mods, my friend. That is a beautiful mod, and I must say, that sounds quite a bit better. Of course, it still has that essence of a DD-15, as it should, uh, but it's got a little bit extra to it. Uh, I tend to like the sound of it, and the beautiful thing is, is if you get that compilation mod, what it does is it replaces all the default uh, engine sounds of that SDS software has in their game. So it replaces, for example, the Detroits with their range of engines, the Volvos, the, well, let's name them all off here. Anything you could think of as the default ones, it's covered in that list along with the transmissions. So uh, we got to turn right here. I don't know what I'm doing, just kind of looking nowhere. Uh, so it replaces it right out the bat. Because this 5700XE uses the what some of the SES software default, well, DD16 or 13, 15, and 16 sound sets. Well, just listen to this pull away here. You know, it's sometimes good for me to stop talking, and that is a perfect example why. Lovely sound set, and uh, what it does is it replaces it directly, so you don't have to worry. And because this truck uses the, well, default sounds, and there's no new engine sounds for it, uh, I guess in a good way, immediately, this is, I'm recording this uh, next day after launch here, or I guess a day or two, whatever, can't keep track now. Um, and it just worked right away, no issues, sounds brilliant. Uh, look, it sounds overall really nice, and I decided to go with the 15. I, I, within recent episodes, and at least the last one I did uh, with the engine compilation mod, um, or at least one of the last couple I've done, I used the DD-16. Now I wanted to see if there were differences between the 16 and the 15, and of course I'll get to the 13 at some point. I know there are differences, uh, I know there's many technical differences, but I wanted to see sound-wise uh, what it was like. And while well, I am pleasantly su uh, surprised by the difference in the sound of the engines, and I am happy to say that this sounds really nice. And I think it suits it a lot better. All credit to SES Software, they've done an amazing job on the truck itself. The design is phenomenal. Sound, of course, in the game, pretty good stock, but there's something about engine mods. Uh, they just bring stuff that extra notch, and in my opinion, this is the way to do it. And I've decided to get uh, to haul some cattle here, some livestock once again. Of course, across Man Montana is a good way. It's really car. You're going to pass me? I'm running like 55 miles an hour. You, you, get, you better go, dude. There's a corner coming up here. My word. The gutsy AI. Gotta love them. But I wanted to come back to Montana. Obviously, I've done a ton in Texas. Uh, I mean, everything is bigger in Texas, and this is quite a big expansion for um, ATS in terms of another truck. I know a lot of people want to see some of the, well, some new trucks and, of course, some really old trucks. There's a really kind of contrasting uh, opinion set there for what trucks should be coming in, and I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but overall, I wanted to come back to Montana, haul some livestock. I think it suits this truck really well. The chrome livestock trailer with this brilliant red paint job. It's a custom metallic paint job with, of course, the chrome accents on the truck. This truck just looks so sharp. It, uh, I don't know. Once again, Fanboy Prime here. Um, <laughs> what's up? Uh, just enjoying the truck as per usual. Just taking it as a go, and it's really nice to do these different configurations. It really shows off what the truck can do, and I figured with the amazing sound mods of, well, I guess the transmission, a little bit of sound in there as well, different ratios there, and of course the engine sounds bring it all to life. It's just a good mix overall. Let's talk about some news, though, that we had, I guess, if you're watching this on Saturday. First of all, hopefully everyone's doing well, and hopefully this video goes up on Saturday, presuming YouTube uh, has their, well, processing under control. I really want to kind of move my way out of here, uh, but I don't want to cut in front of traffic. 
Um, if you're record if you're watching this on Saturday, um, well, on Friday, hopefully you've seen my Prime News already. If you haven't, I'll try to remember it up in the card above. Uh, there's going to be some new trailers coming in 1.47 uh, for both ATS and ETS2. We're going to try and get out of here. Stop, car. Thank you. Sorry. Cut in front of here. Just wanted to make sure I get out in time. Oh, I guess I should be in the left lane here, drifting across lanes, not paying attention. Honorable Gas Cistern Trailers. And for those who are a little confused, those are actually, in, I guess, the context of ATS and ETS 2, they're designed off of the really hazardous or fla extreme flammable liquid containers. Uh, so those who, they really look like a, an oversized propane tank for those who <laughs> have a propane tanks around them for like the more cylinder-esque ones. Basically, these trailers are going to be haul ethane, propane, and LPG. Uh, as far as I know, and um, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm recording this on the, or just after recording the Prime News, so I'm not quite sure on your response yet, but in the Prime News, I ask, uh, is propane, ethane, or LPG even in ATS right now? Um, I may have been just completely blind, but I didn't even notice in the blog post if it was really detailed about if they're new cargo types, but I would assume they are. I haven't actually noticed propane, for example, being in ATS or ETS2, but I could be completely wrong. And so if you guys, even in this video, let me know. Uh, extra comments always go well, uh, just in case I miss those on other videos. But um, overall, I pr I'm pretty sure they're new cargo types, but once again, I could be very wrong. So let me know down in the comments um, and try and clarify things. And especially if you're not quite sure, uh, check down in the comments and hopefully uh, someone can clarify that for us all. But new trailer types, obviously different chassis options and different configurations. I believe there's a single and B-double version uh, for the American Truck Simulator side. And of course, many different chassis options from, I believe it's the minimums, a 32-footer all the way up to a 53-footer with four axles and rear steerable axle. So lots of options there. Uh, and overall, I think it will be a really nice addition. Obviously, that's the first blog post we've had on 1.47. Amazing to say that we're already at 1.47 for updates here. Um, I can't even, I think I was 1.32 or 1.34, somewhere in there when I uh, started doing Prime News coverage uh, on American Truck Simulator. And now we're, well, we're getting old there, friends. <laughs> it's, uh, it's ATS and ETS2 are both evolving quite nicely. And uh, I'm not going to complain. Overall, it's quite lovely. Look at this truck and trailer and sounds. Not gonna lie, I got scared there in a couple of the cinematics there. That was some of the longest cinematic shots I think I've ever experienced. It just kept going. I was I was gonna say something in the middle of that, but I figured I'd let you guys enjoy it. I guess we are in the plains of Montana, uh, so that makes sense. You can actually see the truck for literal miles, uh, considering we are this absolutely shiny beast of a thing. <laughs> you probably couldn't miss it, to be honest. Bright red and a bunch of chrome blinding everyone around you. Yeah, you probably hear. Now let's try the engine brake. I actually don't know what the engine brake will be like with these DD-15s. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. I guess I could have done that into an actual corner where I'm slowing down, but to be honest, because I've never explored these roads before, these nice country roads, and this is why I like doing these deliveries, a little bit more, well, less highway-esque. More sc more scenic, even though we are going through the plains. Uh, more scenic indeed, and I kind of like driving on these roads a bit more. Uh, but not bad engine brake. Uh, actually pretty good, I have to say. A lot better than stock. Um, yeah, I, I don't like ragging on the default sounds for ATS because for a lot of people, that's all they run. And unless if you watch, for example, these ATS showcase videos where a lot of them have sound mods, it's it's kind of hard because the default sounds are pretty good. But in comparison to some of these sound mods, which I use are free, uh, keep that in mind, any of the ones that I use in my videos, at least as of right now, um, I don't use payware one for that simple reason anyone can pick them up and put them in their game presuming their game is updated to whatever the current standard is they will work just fine and that's what i kind of like about doing these videos it's for everyone but nonetheless these sound mods you just when you compare them versus the stock ones in game i don't know it's it, it makes it really hard to you know give extra credit where credit is due uh but they're just 
overall really good uh really good mods overall now why is this engine breaking on me i think i i need to keep turning my dial till it stops i think um I think I've, I think it's good now. <laughs> I, uh, actually, on, on my, uh, G29, I've got the, uh, kind of, if for those who have a G29, or for those who don't know, there's a, basically a rotary dial, uh, on the one side, and so, um, I can, uh, pretty much, uh, well, I can adjust the engine brake, uh, I have it adjust or set up to adjust the engine brake severity. There we go, I think it's off now, but if I do that. Yeah, it's on. All right. So uh, basically, my rotary dial is set where I can adjust the sensitivity of the, or I guess the aggression of the engine braking or jake brake. And the center enter button is just the manual kind of apply engine brake wherever I want it. Uh, but I can adjust the severity by rotating it. So occasionally, I manage to like slap my hand against the wheel and it rotates. <laughs> and, uh, and then I'll just be letting off and it will just be... Uh, well, using the engine brake all the way down, which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, but then I get confused, I get distracted, and normally bad things happen. But I somehow managed to survive that. Um, to be honest, I don't even know if I ran through a light or, or a red or, or a stop sign. I wasn't actually paying attention, which tells you how bad it can get sometimes. Uh, but no. Overall, sometimes Prime's button placements can be kind of questionable but you know we're all good we're all still here and it's all fine which all that's all i'm happy about now i'm going to talk about the controversial topic about what trucks should be added to ats because that's something that it's been an age-old story everyone has their own opinion which is perfectly fine um and to be honest the true there is no correct answer at all um but i think there is more of an answer that could be logical in the sense of um, kind of being a balance. What I'm talking about is should there be new trucks all the time added or old trucks and well the logical thing would be just to have a balance and to be honest I think ATS is doing okay um, with that but there have been quite a few new launches of trucks and that's I guess something that has to be kept in mind for example when SA Software is working with Western Star for example uh, when the 57X released in America Truck Simulator it also released in real life uh, that was something that they've been working very closely together and well that launch happened so for SA Software not only do they have to design the new trucks uh, that are coming, they're going to be working on the older ones. For example, this 5700 XE. That's all kind of stuff that has to be kind of worked out on which kind of stuff should be brought to the game. And I know a lot of people want to see more, oh, well, the cab overs. Uh, like, for example, the K100E from Kenworth. That would be a beautiful thing to have base in game. Now, saying that, there is an amazing mod, which I've used before on the channel. Uh, you can check in the ATS Showcase playlist for that one. Um, I've used it a few times, I do believe. And uh, there's, like, Freightliner's FLB or D? I think it's FLB. FLB is the cab over. Um, or the Argosy, I think. I don't know. There's a few of them in there. Point is, um, there could be some really cool older-style trucks uh, that I've used as mods that could be added to ATS, and I think that would be really neat. Now, I have a feeling SE Software could be... And this is kind of hypothetical, but they could be potentially going for a used market thing down the line. So they'll bring in more older trucks and have them for there. They're just kind of more retired trucks that you can purchase to start your company. I think that would be a great addi uh, addition to the game, but maybe that's a little bit more management -y than they want. But saying that, you can really manage your profile in ATS as much as you really want, and you can get pretty in-depth. I am speeding beyond belief here. At least 10 mile an hour. I guess it's not, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not great. Uh, but yeah. It's something that... It's, it's one of those topics that everyone's going to talk about. Everyone has their preferences. Honestly, I know I'm, I'm being a little bit just kind of in the middle here. Um... But I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty much happy with whatever truck we get. Um, I I will say that I'd really like to see um, the W900 uh, in particular uh, redone in, in the game. I think that is something that needs to be reworked, and it will be reworked, but still. Uh, there are a few things that I, or a few trucks I'd like to see, but honestly, I'm just happy whenever we get a new truck. Uh, that's why I'm over the moon with this truck. Besides, it's kind of well, a <laughs> coincidental relation to um, my namesake uh, in being kind of the famous Optimus Prime truck as the more newer new or 
newer movies uh newer movies are for the transformers um i don't know it's it's one of those things that i just prefer to have a new truck every here and there than try and pick out one that i'd love to see obviously i do have ones that um would be great to have but i don't know i choose to be the little bit more middle route and uh just kind of take what i get and really i understand that there's the boat there's pro there's kind of the difficulties in both ways getting the newer trucks and older trucks for mainly licensing reasons on both accounts um so overall it's just one of those things that we just gotta wait and be patient i'm sure se software will be working their magic behind the scenes to get whatever truck possible into the game they've been doing great so far and uh, i think overall American Truck Simulator is in a very good direction. 2023, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, I think will be an amazing year. Uh, a, a, lot, a lot of years appear to be very good years for ATS, but I think more, more than ever, 2023 is looking set to be a fantastic one. Truck reworks, potentially two new map expansions. Obviously, we have confirmed both Oklahoma and Kansas. Um, it's amazing that we're already seeing that in the Midwest, but even still, we've got those two confirmed there's a great chance that both of them could release in 2023 one kind of late mid to late spring or even into summer and then fall to winter um you know it, there's all those possibilities and there's so many more things obviously we got 1.47 now uh kind of on the table for news as well was the recent blog post who knows what else will be coming there potential new game or potential major overhaul to the game engine that both ATS and ETS2 use which SU software build in house a lot of cool stuff if you can't tell uh, overall a really cool thing so let's pull into the ranch here as we are as we are uh, delivering these guys to another farm by the looks of it or at least some form of a uh, kind of uh, auction site by the looks of it or some form of farm by the looks of it kind of almost like an auction -y. yeah it looks like it they're kind of auctions are oh that's actually like a rodeo oh look at them go look at them have some fun there stay on there cowboy <laughs> oh look at that oh looks like our drop off is over here bushnell farms didn't realize they, they have an entertainment section now too how neat how neat indeed ats is constantly changing and that's why i like delivering to these areas that I haven't been to before uh, lots to explore that is for sure so let's see if we can reverse here and well, i guess maybe these maybe these cows aren't uh, gonna see the outdoors there much i, I don't know the the semi ominous feeling of reversing to a receiving door isn't maybe as uh <laughs> isn't as uh well promising for the cattle shall we say uh without saying anything that could potentially get youtube upset at me uh because well you know it's YouTube these days. Um, oh, there we go. Hit the mouse all over the place. Look at me go. I think I've got a steerable axle on this thing back there. Uh, it, maybe not. Maybe I'm just pathetic at bat reversing, which, again, is a very good option. Uh, so let's try and get this semi straight into this receiving dock. Uh, not quite sure if the trailer... Actually, let's check this. Can you actually get... Uh, I guess, you know what? I'll give it a pass. You can actually get, uh, by the looks of it, the receiving door possibly to go. Um... Presuming it's a rollout door. Not quite sure how that would happen, uh, but we won't try and figure out the logic. I want to be here. Um, oh, there we go. Use the bumpers on the doors. That's why they do exist. Uh, we're just going to try and straighten this out a little bit better there. There we go. Right up against the bumpers, how we like it. We're going to come back interior, shut off the truck, get rid of this annoying pop-up menu as per usual. And I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. What a delivery. What a beautiful truck. Beautiful delivery overall in the scenery. Lovely to be back in Montana. We're going to be exploring more of the map, probably doing some more long hauls to come. I've got a couple ideas planned there. Probably split across some episodes. Plenty of content here on the channel. Lovely amount of content for you guys to enjoy hopefully you enjoy it that is and lots of cool stuff planned and i'm gonna try and keep rolling it out as much as i can because i know you guys enjoy it and i certainly enjoy making it for you guys so once again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one